Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Visitor Studio and today I'd like to share with you how your font choice can impact the look of your project and introduce you to five of my favorite fonts. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the edit page and with any title that you're gonna use for your project, you're gonna be able to here select a font. So in my opinion, it's very important to pick the right font for your project, but where to find the right font? The two websites that I like to use are Google Font and Fontesque. It's very important once you're searching for a font to make sure that it's free for commercial use. That way you'll be able to use it without copyright infringement issue in any project being personal or for commercial purposes. All the fonts on Google Font will be uh, free for commercial use. So here you can just search and look for whatever font you would like and everything will be good to go. In Fontesque and you'll have thousands of different fonts that you can choose. Make sure though that you are checking the individual license for each of those fonts because sometimes there is some that have other requirement that needs to be credited or something like that so they usually come with their own individual license so just read through that and make sure that it's free for commercial use to install a font is very simple you can just download it from whatever sources you would like it will just give you usually a zip file just unzip that file. Generally, you will get two things in it. First, the font license, which might be different for each font. If that's an open font license, you're pretty much free to go to use it for uh, any commercial use and it should be fine. But please always make sure to read through the license to know if you need to credit the artist or if uh, there is some limitation with the usage of that font. Then you can go ahead and install the font. Sometimes you will just get one file that will encapsulate like different family and different uh, face type. But for example, in that case for Popin, it's a bunch of individual TTF file, but they are from the same family. Just each typeface is its own file. So what you want to do is just selecting all the font and then simply double click on it to start the installation process it will prompt open something for you to install the fonts right now as you can see me i already have them installed but i could just replace them right here and now the installation is done if you had DaVinci Resolve open when you were installing the font, make sure to restart DaVinci so it can scan your computer again for the new font that have been installed all right now let's move on to the font that i use the most in almost all of my projects it's popping it's a very modern and good looking font uh, that i use for a lot of things because it looks clean it looks simple yet modern this is actually the default font that we're using for most of our pack and it got actually a big family going from thin to bold regular etc you have a huge variety of different things that you can choose from it the second font that i use a lot is Montserrat. Uh, it's a very modern and classic and simple font as well. I use either Montserrat or Popin in most of a project because it's a very clean, neutral, but good looking font. Again, here you got an extended family. So you got just a lot of different things you can choose from, uh, from thin, italic, extra light, light, etc. So already with that extended family, if you start to mix around the thinner one with the bolder one, you can get some interesting look if you have multiple line in your title or motion graphics. For example, here, if we just go video editor, studio, all cap, we're just gonna drag that up a little bit and we're gonna set the font face to bold. And then the one right below it, we're gonna write something else, uh, select the right font. And then here, as you can see, if we just keep the same font face, it's pretty plain, it's not so interesting. But now if we start to, for example, here, choose something like extra light, you just create a very different look that is a lot more punchy and contrasty because we have different thickness in our font choices. Also right now, for example, we could reduce the size to add another element of diversity. So now we have something that is big and bold and here something that is smaller and thinner and that just help to make the title easier to read and more interesting. Now the third font that I really like to use is EB Garamond. This font will really help to make a project look more luxurious, more elevated, uh, I really enjoy using it. It will be a good alternative to something like Time New Roman, and I just find this one just really, really nice. Now, the fourth font is Basement Grotesque. It looks very modern, like Popin and Montserrat, but this one is slightly more stylish and it makes a bit more of a bold statement, in my opinion. It's a great font to use for anything 
related to fashion, music, uh, social media. I think it's just really in your face while staying fairly neutral. We've used this font for Urban Modern Title Pack, for example, and I just really, really like the vibe that it gives. It's very punchy and interesting. And the fifth font is Angler Hand. This one is a lot more artsy. It's more unconventional and it will definitely not suit every project, but for something that needs a look that is a tiny bit more different, a lot more rough on the edges, I think it's a very interesting choice. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment what font you'd like to use because I'm always really curious to discover new ones. So thank you so much and see you in the next one. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.